Hi Leo, this is your 11th to 13th of October weekend love read. I have been gone, I know, I'm sorry, um, but I'm back now, which is exciting. Because of all the stuff that's happening though, I'm only doing express reads for this weekend, next week, and the weekend after, and then hopefully we'll be able to go back to the normal read spread. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also leave me comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what's happening. And let's get started. The Fool just flipped over. So you might be doing some silly stuff, Leo. All right, let's get started. Love messages, please, for Leo for this weekend. Spending some time alone, Leo. Okay. Oh, the tower card just peaked then, but didn't flip. Okay, because you're working on healing. And this healing is taking longer than you expected it to. So you're kind of getting to that point where you're like, I've realized that I need to be on my own for a bit. Um, and you're coming to terms with that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And you're realizing that you, whatever whatever you were diverting your energy to before, you're not now. You're focusing back on yourself. So it might have been that you kept trying to put work in with a person or a situation and it kept failing. And now you're like, I've realized I can't put any more effort into this. I need to just put effort into myself and I need to get to my Nine of Pentacles state. All right. What's the Nine of Pentacles here, please? Yeah, you're letting go. This is great. You're letting go of whatever it is that you have been trying to almost, I feel like I want to say you're forcing or have been forced to hold on to or have felt like you've had no other option but to hold on to. So six of swords in reverse, please. It's the healing. Oh, okay. That wanted to come out. I picked a card and another one flipped out. Okay. Yes. This is taking a long time because you haven't been willing to accept that it's really over. I think that you kind of thought that it was always going to fix or um, it was going to get better or somehow you're going to work it out. And now this card over here is also sort of saying you're finally coming to the realization that, you know what, maybe this isn't going to happen anymore. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Uh, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah, you're not fighting for it anymore. So she's not putting in the work. It's too much effort. It's too much fighting happening. I don't want to fight anymore is what I'm getting here. Okay, most likely outcome for this weekend, please, for Leo. Knight of Swords. So the person that you're dealing with might be a little bit of a selfish individual. And the fact that you're work, walking away is the very thing that means that they're going to come back into your life in a negative way, not in a good way. Um, because they're not coming back for the right reasons and then they're doing it to keep you on a leash. It's like the elastic band theory. So just be cautious if they suddenly show up. Don't undo all of your hard work over here. You're on the right track here or it wouldn't be coming through in the reading. Okay. Yeah. King of Swords. They're not coming back with emotion. They're coming back because it makes them feel good and they like the control. Could be dealing with an air sign. And they're probably going to tell you that they're not going to, if they were juggling other people or it was kind of like a, a, a casual kind of thing, they're probably going to say, no, you're the only one for me because of this narcissistic behavior. Yeah, they're playing you. Okay, they're the magician. They are just trying to control you. All of these cards are telling me that they are going to tell you what you think you want to hear, uh, what they think you want to hear, just to keep control of the situation. And that's going to undo all of this healing over here that you're working on and you're doing. Okay, what's the uh, advice that you have, please, for Leo? What advice is there for Leo for this weekend? 
that just came out. It does have another card behind it. Okay, so <laughs> the advice is this. This is not a Ten of Cups. It's a Ten of Cups in reverse. It's a failure. Not a failure, but it's not a successful relationship. It's not going to give you all the things that you deserve and want in a relationship. Avoid the heartbreak. Don't get into it, okay? If this was in the upright, then it, and this was in the um, in the reverse, it will be saying, this is really your Ten of Cups and you've got another chance at this because you've avoided true heartbreak. That's not what it's saying. This are both in reverse, okay? Don't go there because you are avoiding heartbreak if you stay away. If you go back, that's your choice, but just know that there's a good chance that you're going to get your heart broken again, Leo. Ace of Wands in reverse. There is no, this is not a truthful, or sorry, not a truthful. This is not a legitimate or authentic new start. This is someone that's coming in for a one night stand. They are offering their wand in a deceptive way kind of thing. Girls have wands too, just saying. Anything else, please, for advice? It's not the offer that you think it is. Yeah, leave them out in the cold or you're going to get left out in the cold. So it's they're saying that you're, if you accept this, you're going to get left in the cold and you will end up with heartbreak. Otherwise, leave them out in the cold, don't engage, avoid the heartbreak, do not get involved in this Ace of Wands in reverse. It is not what you think it is. You have your card on the bottom of the deck. So absolutely draw on that Leo Lion strength, please. Okay, what advice what are romance of angels say, please? What advice do romance angels have here? Yeah. It is safe for you to love. So this is saying it's safe for you to love someone else. Do not feel like you have to go back and settle with this person. This is the re this this theme is coming out. It must be, I think because we're heading into Scorpio season. <laughs> Scorpio season. For those of you who don't know, Scorpio season is the number one time. And it's in Met it's Mercury retrograde as well. So shadow has just started. Those two things combined are the most likely time that people from your past that are bad for you show up again. Scorpio season, notorious for it, okay? And you've got Mercury retrograde. Again, another kind of cycle where people from the past, the universe throws them back at us to see what lessons we've learned and kind of do a bit of a, an assessment to go, oh, what's this person learned? Let's throw that back at them and see what they do differently with that scenario. This is, I think, why there's a lot of the same stuff. Do not settle because you think that, that you're never going to find love again. You absolutely are going to find love again, okay? That's what i got for you, Leo. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down in the comments below. I don't get a lot of comments from you guys. Don't know why. Leos, get onto it. You're dragging your heels. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, don't forget, express readings will be for the next couple of weeks or a week and a half, and then we go back to normal. Have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye.